Hello everyone, this is Rakesh here and once again welcome to the my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see what all the comparison operator are available in the PLSQL programming. Yes, that is a topic which we are going to discuss in this session. So let's begin. So guys, as you can see on the your screen, these are the comparison operator are available in the PLSQL programming and this comparison operator I have very clearly explained in my SQL series and those who don't know about my SQL series and haven't watched yet then please please go and watch my SQL series in that you, you will get through your fundamental of SQL and then you can come back to my PLSQL series okay so this is called as a like operator this is called as a between operator and this is called as a in operator and this is called as a is null operator out of this four operator I will be able to explain over here at this moment only three operator okay like between and is null why not uh, in in operator because at this stage it will be very early to explain this in operator because in operator required the collection and array uh, which can hold multiple rows okay so that is the reason I am not explaining this in operator right now but in the upcoming videos i will take example of the in operator also or i can say that when you watch the uh, your uh, collection or vra uh, session at that moment i will take this operator okay guys so let me take one example over here in my sql uh, developer and then i will explain over here so as you can see on the your screen i have already written one program in which i have taken all the operator uh, except the in operator so uh, these are the some of the variable i have declared over here so you can see over here this is the select statement i have written in that i have used the in operator so this query what it will return it will return those uh, rows which start with the smith word in which employee name should be smith at the prefix okay so those uh, employees will be get recorded or will be get uh, uh, get uh, will be get uh, out of uh, this employee employee table okay so let me show you over here uh, this uh, examples so let me show you over here wh what all the output will be over here so i have to remove over here into because in the sql into one work so let me remove this into and then i can show you what exactly the output and the my plsql program also should give the same output okay so over here this is giving this employee id this query is giving this output and this query is giving this output so all of that query should give me uh, same output over here also okay so as we have already discussed in our previous videos uh, this is how we can take the uh, value of employee id into this variable and uh, if we wanted to use or if we wanted to get the multiple column then we have to use the multiple variable so in the same way i have used over here so this is uh, this is for the higher date this is for the employee date because i have retrieved over here two columns so that is the reason i have taken over here two variables and over here i have used you can see between operator means higher date in between this date and this date so that is the reason i have used over here in uh, between operator now after that uh, i have used the is null operator over here and in a similar way i have selected the job column and their job column value i am uh, putting into the job type uh, variable you can see over here so uh, whatever the output i have uh, got over here same output should be written by uh, this plsql program i am running multiple queries guys i hope you are understanding over here what exactly this like uh, between and is null operator and you are also understanding what is the importance of the uh, plsql programming because over here in one shot i can run three queries over here every time i need to run the selected statement uh, one by one okay so that is the reason we use the plsql programming also so this is the one of the example and this is the importance of the plsql programming so let me come back to the, my original discussion original discussion is nothing but your this uh, like operator uh, between operator and is null operator so how it is behaving so let me show you over here output so you can see over here 
this is giving the employee id and this employee employee id how it is coming so you can see over here in this variable i have taken and same variable i have printed over here and after that what i have done i have taken uh, the hire date and the employee name in this variable and same i have printed over here and over here and after that i have taken the job type over here and i have put into this uh, variable and same i have printed so you can see over here this one this one our values are coming out so i hope you have understood what exactly the like operator like operator is nothing but uh, it uh, matches wherever the percentage is there so if it is percentage is over here over here if it is the percentage is over here okay then it will uh, check that the last word or last character should be smith if i will write like this uh, if i will uh, write like this then it will check in between the my sentence or my word smith should be there so this is how the like operator works okay so let me summarize uh, so like operator is nothing but it's a wild card operator in which it will check uh, whether the uh, whether the that name or whatever the pattern is present or not it depends upon the this percentage uh, symbol where exactly it is written if it is written at the last then it will check the prefix if it is written over here at the start then it will check the postfix means the, at the last and if it is writ written both the side then it will check the in between okay and between operator is used to check the range in between the name itself indicate that what exactly the between operator is and is null operator is nothing but it will retry the those records which has the null value okay one more thing i would like to tell over here guys uh, you may do the mistake so what uh, that thing is uh, if you are using over here variable then your query must return only one row your query must return only one row because variable can hold only one value okay if you are uh, uh, this query is returning multiple rows then uh, your procedure or your query will get failed because this won't be able to hold it okay for that uh, we need to go for the collection or array okay guys uh, to in order to hold the multiple values one other thing what i would like to tell over here so whatever the column type over here you have that same type should you have in the your variable uh, name okay you cannot have over here number and you cannot hold into the character or maybe you cannot select the uh, character uh, column and you cannot hold into the uh, number uh, type of variable okay so that thing you have you need to take care next thing what you need to take care the number of column whatever the number of column you have over here that that many times you should have the variables also over here okay just like uh, this we have the two columns so we have the two variables over here so this is all about the is uh, is null operator like operator and between operator so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and you come to know what all the comparison operator are available in the plsql programming and if you have any feedback or any doubt or any question then please please write us we will definitely reply you thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care